have a little progress here. I am just hooking away, kind of at the bottom of it still. But I'm appreciating. I'm moving vertically up, as you see. I've run out of the dark green. And every time I have to grab dark green, I've got to open another one of those little packets of uh, yarn tufts. And my tub is full of other colors. So I decided not to open any more. And I'm just going to use the colors that I have until I need to open up another um, packet of yarn tufts. And what I mean is these packets where the yarn comes out and it's all mixed up. And I'll show you when that's not quite been taken apart yet. So that had like a little bit of green in it. You can see it's all stuck together because it's squished. Um, and I have nowhere to put this yarn because all these bins are pretty much full. So I decided I just won't do dark green anymore. So how do you handle not having the colors you, you need? Do you have more than one of these containers. Um, this is part of a Sterilite container, and I don't want to buy a whole nother six, or excuse me, three drawer set up to get this other container because I have 13 colors. So do you know of a con um, already in existence set of containers that will fit these? I appreciate your advice. So as you know, I've been hooking this unicorn rug for about three weeks now. And I have come up with a lot of um, situations that I did not anticipate when I first started learning this craft. Um, firstly, this tool is not a tool that I use that much. I thought I would really appreciate this tool because of the, the bulb and that it's you know squishy and it would be more ergonomically um, correct for my hand, or at least I thought it would be. Uh, well, it turns out that I did use the, the boy a hook instead and I found that I hold it like a pencil. How do you hold your yarn hook? I'm wondering. Um, do you do you hold it like a pencil? Sometimes I even hold it up on top of my fingers like this. Um, again another pencil technique that um, that I do and I don't know why I do it. Uh, also I found that I wasn't going to be using crochet hooks to unhook yarn. I found that I could very easily just pluck out the yarn from the grid using my um, you know, index finger and thumb. I, um, what else did I find? As, I, as you saw in the last video clip, I did run out of a color and I found myself opening multiple um, packs of yarn which got annoying very quickly. Um, I've been part of a, I did join a forum on Facebook where I've shared these videos and the people who do the yarn hooking or the rug hooking there are so talented and it's so inspiring that um, I think for my second project, actually my third project, because I did promise that I would make another um, rug for my nephew. So this one's going to be for my niece because it's, you know, a red, white, and blue unicorn and it's super cute. And I have a tiger because my nephew absolutely loves tigers. Um, and I thought I would give it to him. The other project that my mother had sent me was a tiger. Now, I haven't even opened it yet. Um, I'm hoping that there is a tiger in there. Um, but it is an older box, and I will show you that when I get started with that one. Uh, but all of the crafts that I've seen on the forum on Facebook have been absolutely gorgeous. And one of the things I saw that people were doing were sending in photographs to get them graphed for making a yarn head. Uh, to, for making a, a, a latch hook rug. I thought that was awesome. I think that I might make a special a project for my husband's grandmother. Um, and we'll see how that goes. I'm just kind of, you know, getting it in my head. There's so much that can be done. Um, but I'm really enjoying this project so far. It is my first project, and as you see, it's going to be a very long, large project. And I'm sure that I'm going to come up with more questions for you. But right now, my biggest question is, how do you keep organized? How do you keep those yarn tufts organized? Do you have a custom yarn um, holder or something or a tuft or a plastic container or whatever? That would be great. Uh, please share your projects with me, and I will see you in the next video. 
Take care and have a great day.